I have Christmas music in my head and I can't get it out. So why don't we unbox some advent calendars? What's up Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we have decorated for Christmas and now we're going to unbox an advent calendar. This is the very first Sailor Moon advent calendar that we have ever gotten and I am so excited to check this out. On the front of this it does say 12 day jewelry set and I love the holographic foil print that we have going on here. It's very pretty. We have the English Sailor Moon logo of course and then we have the Crisis Moon Compact. Now this released at Hot Topic. It was 1990 MSRP and these sold out online relatively quickly. If you do find one in store, I would say go ahead and snag one up if you want one for your collection. But today, if you are interested in some spoilers, we're going to open this up and see what is inside. I have not opened mine as you can see, so this is going to be a surprise for me just as much as it is for you. But I am very excited to get my hands into this and see what's going on with this advent calendar. So today I'm checking out the Sailor Moon 12 day jewelry set. However, because it is the holidays and I know that some of y'all here also enjoy Ghibli, I am also going to unbox the world of Studio Ghibli 12 day of charm advent calendar, which also released on Hot Topics website for 1990. This one will be in a separate video that you can check out on my channel. I am so excited to check this out. Um, it's been sitting in my collection room for like two weeks and I've been vying to open this thing up. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we do have a magnetic clasp closing it, which I appreciate. That's a nice little high quality item there. We have this beautiful print of Super Sailor Moon and the Guardians as well as Super Sailor Chibi Moon. And then we have doors for all of the 12 different days. So if you want to, you could open these up one per day throughout December. It's like 12 days of Christmas, but if you're like me and you can't wait, then you probably wanna just open them all up when you receive this in the mail. So I'm gonna go from day one to day 12 and show you what each day has and then tell you a little bit about the product itself and whether I would recommend it or not. Let's go ahead and get started with day number one. Now, I don't wanna tear the pictures on the front because I do find these to be very pretty. So I'm gonna try my best to not screw up the doors too much. Oh, okay, this one decided to tear upwards. Oh, hello. Okay, so we have hanging charms in each one. Well, how am I supposed to get it out? Can't really reach it down there. Okay, how am I supposed to... Are you supposed to tear it out? That's gonna be kind of complicated. All right, so here we have the first one. Now this first one is a planetary symbol, which I believe is for, I think that's Sailor Mercury based on the design. It's a little bit hard to tell, but this is a gold plated metal. That's really cute. So I think the best way to do these is to just tear them out of here. There we go. Okay, so here's the first day. Oh yeah, there's a little gemstone. There's a little blue gemstone on Sailor Mercury's planetary symbol. So that is day one, which gives me an idea of what kind of charms we're going to find in this jewelry set. Okay, so day one is a little Sailor Mercury charm. Moving on to day two. It's kind of interesting. These seem to like fall right off. Ooh, what is going on here? Okay, this is kind of a hot, this is a bit of a hot mess going on in this uh, advent calendar. All right. So I'm gonna tear this one off. There we go. So these appear to be upside down. Oh, so here we have day number two. This is another charm. That one's really pretty. I like all those cute little gemstones. Like they could have just gone with the gold plating like you see here on the back, but they decided to do gemstones and each of the gemstones appears to match the inner guardian. So we have Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, and Venus there, as well as pink for Sailor Moon in the center. That's a very, very pretty little charm. I like how shiny and sparkly it is. So that one is day two. Okay, so that's the tuxedo mask door. <laughs> Moving on to day three, where we have Sailor Mercury on the front. Um, kind of surprising that Sailor Mercury did not have the Mercury charm underneath the door. But, oh, it looks like we get, is it just a chain or is there something else with it? Let's find out. 
I don't want to pull on this too hard. I don't want to break it. There we go. Okay. This thing is kind of a mess. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a, yeah, this is a mess, y'all. Okay, here we have the actual, I think this is a necklace. And there appears to be another charm on this one. So this charm is, okay, here we have Sailor Moon's Crescent Moon for day three. Again, we have a beautiful little pink gemstone in the center of the Crescent Moon. And also this nice gold chain. It's kind of a thin chain with a clasp at the end that can be adjusted. So you do have an adjustable chain. That's cute. All right, so now we have day three. Moving on to day number four with Luna on the front of it. Ooh, okay, we have the Crisis Moon Compact on this one. I can immediately tell based on the style and the shape of this one. So I didn't even have to turn it over to know what it was. It was the Crisis Moon Brooch. So that is the one that we saw on the front of the advent calendar. This one does have a little, looks like a little clear gemstone in the center of it. And it does have a little bit of molding to the Crisis Moon Compact Brooch. It's not very heavy. It feels like a pretty thin gold material, but that is quite cute. So far we have four different cute little charms. Moving on to day number five. Aha, Sailor Mars. Okay, that one made sense because it has Mars on the front of the door. Her door's about to fall off. Oh no. Oh well. Okay, so here we have Sailor Mars's planetary symbol with the little red gemstone. Day six. Oh, we have a little Luna silhouette of her head. This is a pretty common shape that we get in a lot of jewelry sets, etc., etc. Oh, that's cute. Look, it's glittery on the inside. So this almost looks like a soft enamel pin. It's got the same kind of like enamel work on the interior of it. And we have that really pretty glitter in there. Almost makes it look like little stars in a night sky. That's cute. So we've got a little Luna charm. Day seven. Oh, day seven consists of Sailor Venus's planetary symbol. And much like Mercury and Mars, it's very much the same size. So we're still missing Jupiter, uh, which is interesting because that was the Jupiter door. So she must be in one of these last ones. Oh, what does that say? Does that say Sailor Moon on it? That's cute. Oh, that is precious. Aw, that's very cute and very detailed. Aw, they did a good job with this one. It's cute. Okay, so this says Sailor Moon in cursive. Here we have Sailor right there. It's very easy to read. I appreciate that. It's not too thick, so it's very easy to read the thin lettering. And then Moon, Sailor Moon. Aw, that's adorable. Okay, I like that little charm. And day nine. Who's dead? What is this? Jupiter. There we go. I knew Jupiter would be in here somewhere. Here we have Jupiter. Yay. Jupiter has a cute little green gemstone on the planetary symbol. All right, let's move on to day number 10. Is this Artemis? I think it's, I think it's gonna be Artemis. It's kind of stuck in there though. There we go. All right, here we have Artemis with plenty of silver glitter in the enamel. That's cute. That very much matches, oops, that very much matches the Luna one. There we go. How precious. Those look really cute together. Okay, let's move on to day number 11. Ooh, it's a pretty bow, a really big bow. I don't understand why all of these are backwards though. That's so weird. <laughs> okay, so this one is just gold plated. There is no gemstones in it, but it is Basically the front of Sailor Moon's Fuku. This is a cute little bow that you would see on the front of the soldier or the sailor soldier outfits. And then you have a little, little heart shaped compact on there. And the very last day is day 12 for the 12 days of jewelry. And this one is Chibi Moon's brooch. Again, it's backwards. It's so weird that the charms aren't facing forward. I feel like it would be more exciting to open them if you see them when they're forward facing. Okay, so here's Chibi Moon's charm. Uh, this one's pretty simple too. I think there's a teeny tiny, 
Oh no, there's no gemstone in there. There's a hole right here. It almost looks like there should be a gemstone there, but it's just a hole, as you can see. <laughs> That's very interesting. That's very small. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. That's a that's a interesting choice there. So now that I have opened this entire advent calendar, it looks like the backing of this advent calendar is just one big piece of cardboard that each of the different charms was attached to. There's no space in between them, which is why, for example, the necklace was kind of getting all confused in there. It was a little bit of a mess. So I'm gonna close that up. Let's take a look at all these charms together on the table in front of me. Okay, so here is a close up of the 12 different items that we received in this 12 day jewelry set. As you can see, most of them are pretty tiny, especially the planetary symbols and even the compacts. Most of them are relatively small. The only one that I was very impressed with is the moon, the crescent moon. And that's because it's slightly larger and because you get multiple gemstones in there to make it kind of sparkly and shiny and, and cute. It's, it's very obvious that it is Sailor Moon. I do like that this is very easy to read. So it's, it's simple again, but it's very easy to read the text even though it's cursive. They could have molded it a lot thicker and it would have made it very hard to see what it says. But since it is those thinner lines, it does make it a lot easier to see. Um, I think that these could have been done a little bit more extravagant like the crescent moon was. And then I would have been a little bit more wowed by it. I did notice now once I put these side by side that we have three different metals here. So we have a really nice gold plating here. This one is more of a rose gold. And then this one down here is almost a silver color. So I do like that they did three different colors there. So you do have a few different options in terms of what you might want to put on your necklace chain. So it is kind of cool that we do have a bunch of different charms that we can put on this chain. You could switch them out with the crescent moon and put a specific one on there if you have a favorite character. Or you could put several on there all together and kind of have like a little line or a little pattern going on there on your necklace. So again, this is $19.90, which I would say is a fair price for what you get. If if Hot Topic and SG at NYC LLC ever choose to do another Sailor Moon advent calendar, I would like to see something a little bit more high quality and I would be okay with purchasing something at a higher price point if it does mean that it's higher quality. This is a little bit lower quality than what I would normally prefer to purchase, but it still was very fun to unbox it. So that is the 12 day jewelry set. Let me know your thoughts down below as well if this is something that you would purchase or if you would skip. I will be back very soon with another advent calendar. I'm super excited to check this one out as well. So definitely subscribe if you're interested in seeing this unboxing and don't forget to comment down below if you have any thoughts. Thank you for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs and I'll see you next time. Johnny.